Hey there, Nate here for KVR Audio. We're going to take a look at getting set up with our new application, uh, KVR Studio Manager, uh, which is designed to help you organize and stay on top of updates for your plugins across your various uh, music computers. We're going to take a look at getting signed in and doing your first scan. Now you will need access to a KVR Audio account. If you don't have one, you can head over to kvraudio.com, click up here to create account. Sign up and making sure to verify the email address that you sign up with. And once you are done, we can head over to KVR Studio Manager. Right, so you'll be greeted by the KVR Studio Manager login screen. Use the same username that you use for your KVR login. Enter your password and click login. You'll be greeted by this initial screen. You also have some help load uh, by default the first time you run the application. Let's scan our plugins first, and then we can take a look at the various aspects of the application. If you are a Mac user, you will have the option as well for a U. Uh, I'm just going to click all formats here initially, or you can scan plugins in the top here. Let's just click all formats, and you'll see the progress bar down at the bottom right here. We'll start. It may take a little while on your first go to scan all your plugins. Any subsequent scans after that will be quicker. During the scan process, you may get one or two pop-ups if you have uh, iLock enabled plugins on your system that are not currently registered or your iLock is not plugged in. Make sure to click through those, either register the plugins or skip them uh, to allow the scanner to complete. This would only apply for VST and Clap plugins, not for audio units on a Mac. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec once all my plugins have scanned. Fantastic, so our system has finished scanning. This is the scan report page that you'll be greeted with after conducting a scan. As I said, subsequent scans after this will be much quicker. The initial one, depending on how many plugins you have, may take a bit of time. If you make any changes to your system, I install a new plugin or remove a plugin and then conduct a scan. It will show up here as either changed, removed, or new. In this case, we've conducted our initial scan, so we've got all our new plugins listed here. And any errors that you find will be showed here. These are from my Steinberg interface that I use and do not scan correctly in this case. This will also highlight any duplicates that you may have within your plugin folders. Currently, this will also just be VST3 audio units and clap formats for now. Right, to move on from here, important step now is to actually sync this with KVR. Uh, rather than hit close here, we're going to hit sync with KVR. And my system will connect with the KVR database and try to match up as many of my plugins with entries in the KVR database. And that's it. We've completed our first scan and synced our plugins to the KVR database. Let's just take a look at a few of the basics now and highlight a few areas of the app. So what we have on the left hand side is the plugin window. This is all of the plugins installed locally on our machine. Uh, the right hand side is the web frame and this displays contextual information from KVR Audio in this right pane. Right, so let's go hit the KVR newer filter. These are all plugins that have newer versions in the database. You can see here contact 7 is in need of an update. We could double click on this to bring up the contact information. In some cases, you could check the download folder here, and there may even be a link to Native Access, which we'd require to install it. We can now run Native Access. There's our Contact 7 and Complete Control. Let's choose to update these two plugins. Right, so Contact and Complete Control have successfully updated and installed. Let's close this down. Uh, now we can hit Scan again. We'll say Scan for all new and updated plugins, or just for the VST ones if we want. You'll see our progress bar down at the bottom start to go through our plugins. We can continue using the app in the meantime. And there we go, there's our scan report once again. You can see there are two changes to our database here. Uh, we have two changed files, which indicates that they have been updated. It says the previous version here was 3.1.1 R0, and it is now 3.1.2. The same goes for the contact 7 entry. We've gone up a version there. Uh, let's go and sync with KVR once again. We can turn off the filters here. Let's take a look for complete control. And we've now got a complete control entry here that is currently up to date and has been synced with the KVR database. So that's the very basic functionality of getting up and running, scanning your plugins and checking the version numbers on your machine to make sure that your plugins are up to date. Do stay tuned and check out the additional tutorial videos to see what else you can do with KVR Studio Manager. 
And KVR Studio Manager is available for free from kvraudio.com, so you can go and try this out right now. Hope you guys enjoy it and catch you soon. Cheers. Mm -hmm.